שנה טובה, שבת שלום. We are grateful to be here this morning with all of you in your sanctuaries at home, with all of you who have come for the first time in so many months, a few of you, to help form an in-person minion here in, in our sanctuary so we can recite uh, prayers we've been longing to recite together. We are so grateful for your presence. We opened our davening this morning with Psalm 27, the words of the psalm for this season. One thing I ask of Adonai, this I seek, to dwell in the house of God all the days of my life, to behold God's beauty and to visit in God's sanctuary. And we want to invite all of you wherever you are this morning, to enter into this sanctuary in time of Yom Tov, of Shabbat, to find here an oasis of joy, an opportunity to reconnect to life, to reconnect to the holy, to connect with one another. I want to say to all of you this morning, whoever you are and wherever you find yourself this year, on your journey, you are welcome here exactly as you are. So we're going to turn in our machzor to page 58, a psalm of gratitude for this day of Shabbat. Tov leodot Tov leodot l'Adonai U'lezamer, u'lezamer L'shimcha elyon Tov leodot l'Adonai Tov leodot 
Adonai. Tov leodot Adonai. Ulezamer, ulezamer, leshimcha. We take a deep breath in, breathing in the possibility of renewal in this new year, letting go of some of the sadness, some of the loss for this day, for this Yom Tov, arriving here, Nishmat Kol Chai, the soul, the breath of all life gives praise to your name, Adonai, page 67. Nishmat kochai tivarech et shimcha Adonai Eloheinu Viruach kol basar Tifa'er tramim zirich amalkeinu Tamid Hold on, hold on, hold on, Tamid Umi baladecha from the very beginning to the very end of time, you are God. Shabbacha, <laughs> Agibor la netzach v'anora b'nor otecha. We welcome Josh Rosenberg to lead Shacharit, which begins with the word Hamelech, the fifth line on page 69. Uh, Kadosh <laughs> 
Vikarev Kidoshim Titalal Vmakalak Rivatam Khabet Israel. The Hodot le Halel, le Shabeach, le Fire, le Romem, le Hader, le Varech, le Ale, le Kales, Al Kol, the Vreshirot, Vatish, Bachot, David Ben Yishai, Abdecha, Mishicha, Yishabach, Shimcha, Lad, Malkenu. Brachot v'hodaot me'ata v'yad olam Baruch ata Adonai El melech gadol batishpachot El ha'hodaot adon ha'niflaot Habocher b'shirei zimrah Melech el chei ha'olamim Yitkadal v'yitkadash Shemei rabam the Alma di Vrachirute, the Amlich Malchute, the Chaechon of Yamechon, Chae de Chobet Israel, Vagala Vizman Kari, Vimru. Amen. Yehesh me Rabba me Vorach, the Lama me Amaya, Yit Barach, the Ishtabach, the Parvit Roman Vina Vita dar vita levi yita lal, Shmedi kudisha berichu, Leila, Leila, Nikol berchata vishirata, Tush berchata, Venechemata, Ta amiran belma vimru. Amen. We rise in body and spirit for Barhu, the call to worship, page 71. Barhu et Adonai Hambarach. Baruch Adonai Hamivarach, Leolam Baed. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Yotzer Or Uberech HaShech, Oseh Shalom, Uberech Et HaKol, Or Olam Biotzahar Chayim, Orot Me'ofel, Amar Vayehi. Feel free to be seated as our service continues on page 73. I call you a duch, I call you a shukuch. In Kirkecha Adonai Eloheinu Be'olam Hazeh, Ve'en Zulatcha Malkeinu Lechaye Ha'olam Haba, Efes Biltecha Goaleinu Limotam Hashiach, Ve'en Dome Lecha Moshienu, Lichiat HaMetim. El Adon Al Kol HaMasim, Baruch Umborach, Befikol Neshama, God love it to vow, Maleolam, Dat Vuna, so bevimoto, Amit Kae, Alchayot Nedar Bechavod Al Hamirkava Bechu to me sure Leaf Nechiso 
Chesed Berachamim Lifnei Kivodom Tovim Meorot Shebara Eloheinu Yitzharam Bedat Bevina Uv Haskel Kol Kolach Uvura Natan Bahem Liot Moshlim Bekerev Tevel Meleim Ziv Umpikim Noga Nae Bezivam Bechol Haolam Smechim v'tzaitam v'sasim bevoam Osim eima v'tzon konam Per v'chavod nodnim lishmo Tzala v'rinam Zecher malchuto Kara la shemesh Vayiz rachor Ravahit kin Tzurat halvanam Shevach Nodnim lo Maram Tiferet Ugedula Seraphim Leofanim Bechayot HaKodesh I'm trying to fix the volume. El Asher Shavad Nikol HaMasihim Tiparach Moshienu al Shavach Maaseh Yadecha. Here we go. Al Meorei Or Sasita Yifaru. All right, we're going to delay, everyone. Vechulam potchim epi hem bikusha v'tahara v'shira v'zimra v'varchim u'meshabechim u'mefarim u'maritzim Makdishim umamlichim et shem ha'el ha'melech. Vakdish liyotsam benachat ruach besafav ubura uvini makadosha kulam kechad onim leomrim beira. Kadosh, 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 Adonai, Tzvaot, Meloko Haaretz, Kivodo, Tofanim v'chayot ha-kodesh, V'rash gadol min asim l'umat zarafim, L'umatam v'shavchim v'yomrim, Baruch Kivod Adonai, Mim komo. L'el Baruch nimot yitenu, Or Chadash al Zion Ta'ir V'niz kechu lanu mehera leoro Baruch ata Adonai Yotzer ha-mehero Ahava Rafa Ahavchanu
Vikirav Tanu Lishimcha Hagadol Sela Bemet, Vodol Lechal Yachid Chab Yahava, Baruch Ata Adonai, Habocher Biamo Yisrael, Yahava. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Adonai Lechem Emet The door of Ador who Kayam, who smoke Kayam, the Kiso Nacho, and Makuto Vemunato, La Ahad Kayamet. Emetra Tahu Adonai Eloheinu, Velohe Avotenu, Malkenu Melech Avotenu, Goalenu Goel Avotenu, Yotrenu Tor Yishu Atenu, Odenu Matsilenu Melam Shemecha, Ein Elohim, Zula Techa, Ezra Tavotenu Atahu Melam. Tilot la el el yon baruchum vorach Moshe u Miriam u vene Yisrael cha anu shira besim cha rabah ve amru chulam mi cha mocha beilim Adonai mi cha mocha nedar ba kodesh no rati lo dosefelem shira chadasha shibechu geulim lechim cha al svatayam. Yachad kulam hoduvim lichuvi amru, Adonaiim loch leolam ba'ed. Tzor Yisrael, kuma ve'ezrat Yisrael, Uvtech numecha Yehuda ve'Yisrael, Goaleinu Adonai tzvaot shemoho, Kedosh Yisrael. Baruch Ata Adonai, Gaal Yisrael. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Velohe Avoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Velohe Yaakov Ha'el, 
Hagadol, Hagibor Bahanora, El El Yon, Gomel, the Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezocher Chaste Avot, who may be Goel. Leave Nevenem, Leman Shemo, Piahava. Misad Chachamim, O Nevonim, O that me vinim after khafi bit filau ta khanunim le khalad u khanen ne melakh ma khe hamlakhim badone hadoni Zachrinu lechaim, melech hafetz pachaim, v'chod v'enu b'sefer hachaim, v'chod v'enu b'sefer, b'sefer hachaim, l'man chai Elohim chaim. Melech Ozer, Umoshia Umagen, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magen Abraham, Ata Gibor Leolam Adonai, Mikhaye metim ata rav le hoshia. Mikhaal kel chayim bechesed. Mikhaye metim berachamim rabim. So mech noflim berofecholim. U matir asurim, u mekayem emunato lishene afar michamocha bal givurot u midomela. Melech me meet, who me chaye, who mats me ach yeshua. Me chamocha, av arachamim, zocher yetu. Chayim berachamim, neman atal chayot meitim, baruch atadonai, mechayeh hameitim. Yimloch Adonai le'olam, Elohai ichzion, le'dor v'dor, hallelujah. Ve'at ha'kadosh yoshev tihilot Yisrael, el na'ah. Uvechen lecha hakol yaktiru leel orechtin. 
Vachen levavot beyamdin, Vagole amukot badin, Vedover me sharim beyamdin, Hogea deot badin, Vatik yosech said beyamdin, Zachebrito badin, Lechomelmasabiyomdin, <laughs> Mochel avonot padin, v'norate hilot biyom din, v'soleach lamusav badin, onelikor av biyom din, v'foel racha mavadin. So fenis tarot biyom din, kone avadav badin, v'rachimam o biyom din, shomer avav badin, v'tomech t'mimav biyom din. Uvechein lecha ta'ale kidusha ki ata Eloheinu melech. Nekadesh et shimcha ba'olam yainainai ke shem shemakti shim Oto bishme marom kakatuv ayad neviecha yainai naive karaze elzevi. Kadosh, 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 Adonai, Tevat, Melo, Kol Haaretz, Kevodov, Az Adir vechazak mashmim, mashmim kol. Mid nasim lehumat serafim, yai nai nai lehumatam. Baruch Yom Eru. Baruch Kavod Adonai Mim Komo. Mim Kom Chamal Kenu. Tofia. Vetim Lochaleinu. Kim Echakim Anach Nulach. And I, and I, am a tie team lock, Betsy on the car of the Yamenu, the Olambadish gone, Tit Kadal, the Tit Kadach. Betoch Yerushalayim Ircha Ledor Vador 
Nezach, Nezach, in We turn to page 88. El Hakadosh Nikdash Vitzaka Baruch Ata Adonai Hamelech Hakadosh. Continue privately through page ninety one. Sefer Chaim, Peracha Vishalom, Ufar Nasatova, Nizacher, Venikahatev, 
Continue <laughs> Amen. Oh, we thank Josh Rosenberg for leading Shacharit this morning, and we turn now to the Torah service, which you can find in your Machzorim, beginning on page 96. In Kamocha, Elohim Adonai, we ain't Kima Asecha, Malchut Echa Malchut, Kololamim, Umem Shaltecha, Behold Dor Vator, Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach. Adonai im loch leolam vayen, Adonai oz leamo yitain, Adonai ivarech et amo vashalom. Abharachamim etiva virtsonecha et Tivne Chomot Yerushalayim Tivne Chomot Yerushalayim Ki Vecha Levad Batachnu Melech El Ram Venisa Adon Even so, Aaron, Vayomer Moshe, Kuma Adonai, Via Futsu, Oivecha, Via Nusu, Misan Echa, Mipanecha, Ki Mition Tate Torah. Ki mitzion te te Torah udvar Adonai mi Yerushalayim Baruch shenatan Torah Torah Baruch shenatan Torah Torah liamo Yisrael. Be 
the second paragraph of page 98. <speaking in Hebrew> Velish me kadisha, kadisha yakira, ana emar tush bechan, be anarachets, be anarachets, velish me kadisha. Kadisha Yakira Ana Emar Tush Bechan Yehe Rava Kaldama Hiti Tahli Bibi Oraita Vitashli Mishalim Deribi Viliba de Kolamach Israel Letavu Chaim Velishlam Amen. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adoneinu, Kadosh Vinora Shemo. Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adoneinu, Kadosh Vinora Shemo. Gadol Adonai iti Unirameema Shemo yachdav Lecha Adonai Agidula Ve'agivura Ve'atitemeret Ve'aneitzach ve'ahon Ki chom ba shamayim uva aretz ki chom ba shamayim uva aretz lecha Adonai amam lecha ve'amit nasei lechol erosh romemu romemu Adonai Eloheinu ve'ishachavu. Veishtachavu lehalom raglav kadoshu Romimu, Romimu Adonai Eloheinu Veishtachavu, Veishtachavu lehar kotcho Ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu Shana Tova, Shabbat Shalom to all of you coming together today on this sacred day, each of us where we are. Each year as we gather in community to bring in the new year, we open our sacred storybook 
to the narrative of Hagar, the handmaid of Sarah, whose name means the stranger. Exiled from the tent of Abraham and Sarah, Hagar wanders in the wilderness with her son Ishmael. They run out of water in the harsh heat of the desert, and Hagar fears that it is the end. She lays Ishmael down near a shrub. She looks away and she weeps. At this moment, an angel of God appears to Hagar and asks, Malach, Hagar, Malach, what is hurting you? Tell me your story. Malach. The angel then tells Hagar that God has heard their cries in the place where they are. God opens Hagar's eyes and she sees a well of water before her. She draws water and revives her son. The angel's question to Hagar, Malach, appears in the Mishnah in Tractate Midot, a section which describes the architecture and the communal choreography on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. The Mishnah records that all of the pilgrims who would come to the temple to pray would enter on the right side, circle to the right, and exit the temple from the left. However, one who had experienced suffering or misfortune would enter and circle in the opposite direction, to the left, coming face to face with the rest of the community. Those who saw him circling alone would ask, Malach, what is happening in your life that you are moving against the flow of community? And he would say to them, I am a mourner. They would respond, may the one who dwells in this house bring you comfort. Or perhaps walking on her own, she would say, I have been cut off from community. And they would say to her, may the one who dwells in this house open all of the people's hearts to your words and open your heart to their words so that the community will draw you close once again. Malach, how are you holding up with all of this? Tell me your story. This year, in many ways, we are all circling alone, shouldering many losses, cut off from ways of gathering in community that sustain us. There has been so much suffering. Yet, when we log in to study, to pray, to mourn and celebrate together online, we find ourselves face to face, greeting one another with curiosity and with kindness, asking, Malach, and really listening for the answer. During our journey through the Yamim Noraim this year, during our services, I invite those of you here on Zoom to spend some time looking at each other's faces, finding each other's eyes, extending loving kindness to one another. And next time we are unmuted together to lovingly inquire, Malach, I see you. I am here. I just muted it. This Rosh Hashanah, may our eyes be opened it's to the okay. it's, it's like the, yeah. um, us and to the support ooh. around us. Our Torah reading this morning can be found in the Machsor on page 100, and we thank Lisa Myers for laning for us today. Azor via gain the Oshiel Kola Kosimpo, then Omar Amen, a cola vo del Elohim to Nukabod la Tora, Nala Amod, Asher ben Aria Kohen, the Sarabachin eater the Avishai, Parokshenatan to Lalia Mo Israel, Big Dusha to. They are Tem Abedim, Badonai Elohechem, Chaim Kulchem, Chaim.
Um, in a moment, we'll welcome Sheila Siegel to take the second Aliyah. Uh, Sheila was the uh, chair of our High Holidays Task Force, and uh, together with all of the task force members, Elkin Siegel, Beth Garskowitz, Ginny Green, Robin Lebo, Oren Pollock, Terry Seufer, Brian Wasserman, and Ivy Weingram put together the service that we are experiencing today. And we literally would not be able to have Rosh Hashanah this year uh, without each one of you and without the work that you put in, the time that you put in, uh, really staggering hours this summer. Um, and the love that you brought to your work, the love for this community. Um, and so uh, Sheila will take this aliyah, but the gratitude goes to all of our task force members for what you have done to allow BZBI to be together for these holidays. And uh, we'll turn now to Sheila for the brachot. Baruch Adonai Hamavorach Baruch Adonai Hamavorach Baruch Adonai Hamavorach Baruch Adonai Hamavorach Avraham ben Ma'achanaha, Behiva let loho, a hate it's hot beno. Vatum as a rahat, sehok, Asalihi Elohim, Kohashomea it's a hakli. Vatomer, me me lehel Avraham, Heni Kavani him Zaraha, Kia laditi behin lizkunaha. Vayigdal hayeled, vayigamahal, vayaz avraham, vayaz avraham, mishteg adoho, biyom, higameled yitzchak. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher natan lanu Torah demet, v'chayei olam neta v'tocheinu. Baruch ata Adonai, noten ha-Torah. Amen. Nala amod, chava bat Shmuel v'brayna, v'chayil ben... Oops. Sorry, apologies. 
נא לעמוד יעקב בן אברהם אבינו ושרה אמנו ואליאנה בת משה ואביבה. שלישי. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר בחרפנו ניקוב אדוני, ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. ותרס הרעה את בן הגר המטרית אשר ילדה לאברהם נצחק. ותאמר לאברהם גרש המה הזאת ביד בנה כי לא ירש בן האמה הזאת אם בני היא עם יצחק. וירא הדבר מאוד בעיני אברהם על אודות בנו ויאמר אלוהים אל אברהם, אירע בעיניך על הנער ועל אמתך, כה אשר תאמר אליך שרה שמע בקולה, כי ויצחק יקרא לך זרה. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נותן בתוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. ברוך אדוני המורך לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהים, ברוך אתה אמן. וגם את בן האמה לגוי עשימנו, כי זרעך הוא. וישכם אברהם בבוקר, ויקח לחם, וחמת מים, וייתן על הגר. צהם על שכמה, ואת הילד וישאל אחיה, ותלך ותתה במדבר באר שבה. ויאכלו המים מן החמת, ותשלך את הילד תחת אחת השיחים. ותלך ותשב לה מנגד, הרחק עם תחבי קשת, כי אמרה על ערעה במות הילד, ותשב מנגד, ותישא את קולה ותאבק. וישמע אלוהים את כל הנער, ויקרא מלאך אלוהים אל הגר מן השמיים, ויאמר לה מלאך הגר, אל תראי כי שמע אלוהים אל כל הנער כאשר הוא שם. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נתן תוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. נא לעמוד דוד בן ראובן וחווה גילה, דנירה בת אברהם ושרה, חמישי.
Uh, Nikki and Drew Morris, if you are on Zoom, we need your video on so that we can spotlight you for your ALEA. All right, unfortunately, we don't seem to be able to reach our uh, Olim for the fifth Aliyah, so I'm going to ask Suzanne to take this Aliyah in their place. Uh, Suzanne's going to take this Aliyah, Jenny. Do you, what's your Hebrew name? It's going to be Ruth. Nala Amo. Shlomit Bat Yosef. Shlomit Bat Yosef. Joseph Umiriam Tanishi. Baruchu et Adonai Hamevorach, Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Le'olam Ba'ed, Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Le'olam Ba'ed, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam, Asher Bachar Bano Mikol Hamim, V'natan Lanu Et Torato, Baruch Atah Adonai Notena Torah. Amen. Kumi si et hanar, Baha haziki et yadeh boho, Kilikoi gadol asimenu, Vaif kaha elohim et e neha, Vat 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 tere, Ver mahim, Vate he lech, Vat male et hachem et mahim, Vatahash et hanar. Vayihi Elohim et hanar vayigdal, vayeshev b'midbar, vayihi rovek hashat, vayeshev b'midbar paran, vatikach lo imo, isha me'eret mitzrayim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natan lanu Torah te'eretz v'chayi olam, nata b'tochenu. Baruch atah Adonai, notena Torah. Amen. Amen. Nala amo, Yochevet bat Shmuel v'Rachel, de Yosef den Elimelech ben Yekash. How many participants were there? Yeah, 197. Yes, it was. That was amazing. Yeah. It was 193 until Bobby uh, turned around. <laughs> 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 Sweet, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Baruch Adonai Barach Lolam Ba'ed, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Amim, Benatan Lanu Et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Vayihi Ba'ed Ha'ihi, Vayomer Avi Melech, Ufiho Sar Tzibao, El Avraham Lemohor, Elohim imecha, behol asher ataha oseh, viataha, he shavat lihi velohim hena, im tishkor lihi ulinihi ulechtihi, kache hesed, asher asiti imecha ta ase imadihi, vi im haaretz asher garta paha, vayomer avraham anohi ishavea. Vahochiach Avraham et Avi Melech, al odohot be'er ha'mayim, asher gazeluhu avde Avi Melech. Vayomer Avi Melech, lo yadati, mi asaha et hadavar hazeh, 
Vigamataha, lo he got it ali, Vigamanohi, lo shamati bilti hayom. Vaika Abraham, so nu bakahar, Vaitehen la avi melech, Vaikritu shenehem berit. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Shematam lanu Torah temet, Bechei olam nata betochenu, Baruch atah Adonai, Noten ha-Torah. We shouldn't be surprised that in such an unusual and extraordinary year that unusual things would happen. Uh, we, every year, email our Board of Trustees to ask, are there people whose service to the community this year warrants a high holiday honor? People who have gone above and beyond in what they do for BZBI in how they keep BZBI going. Uh, and something happened this year that uh, I hadn't expected and that in retrospect, of course, makes perfect sense. Um, nearly all of our board members wrote back with all kinds of suggestions and included near the top of their lists the entire staff of BZBI. Um, and it's true that our staff have gone above and beyond during this time of quarantine to keep our office going, to connect with congregants, to help people navigate the unfamiliar waters of Zoom services and Zoom classes. And uh, I, could, I could take up the rest of the time we have for the service itemizing all of the things that our staff has done. Um, so suffice to say, on behalf of Rabbi Annie and myself and the Board of Trustees, how grateful we are to our staff for keeping BZBI running uh, through all of this, through great hardship, through immense uncertainty. Um, and so our deepest gratitude goes out to uh, Joel Chu on our maintenance staff, Melanie Fine, assistant to early childhood, Sarah Goldfuss, Director of Early Childhood Education, David Haas, our Communications Coordinator, Brian Johnson from the Maintenance Staff, Phyllis Kramer, our Temple Administrator, Rebecca Krasner, our Community Engagement Specialist, Rabbi Max Nissen, Director of Youth and Family Education, Leslie Schwartz, Account Specialist, and Dr. Rebecca Slavin Phillips, our Executive Director, um, and so we are pleased that uh, Leslie will take this aliyah on behalf of the entire staff of BZBI. Barhu et Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hambarak Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Barchar Banu Mikol HaAmim V'Natan Lanu Et Tarato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Amen Vayatzev Avraham Et Sheva Kivsot HaTzon Levadehen Vayomer avi melech el Abraham, mahena sheva kevasot ha'ela asher hitzavta levadana. Vayomer kihi et sheva kevasot tikach miadi. Ba'avur tiyeli le'edaha ki chafarti et ha'be'er hazot. Alken karaha lamakom ha'hu be'er shava. He shall not be ushne hem. By ye were to read be ver shava. By a coma be mehele. Ufi ho ho sort of a oho. By a shuru el eret pilish team. 
Vayita Eshel Biver Shava, Vayikra Shaham, Bishem Adunahai El Olaham, Vayagor Avraham, Be'eretz Pelishtim, Yamim Rabim. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet Bechaye Olam Nata Bitochenu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen. Dodge, <laughs> Be <laughs> Be <laughs> Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova. I am Suzanne Litke. By now you have all seen me on the bima next to the Stender standing by to help the Torah reader in my capacity as Gabbai. It is now my privilege to speak with you as a member of the BZBI Board of Trustees and Chair of the Development Committee. What a very strange year it's been. Last time I was in this sanctuary, it was Purim, and the staff and clergy of BZBI were all dressed as Mr. Rogers. The Tom Hanks, Mr. Rogers movie had just come out. Remember going to the movies? And our incredible team wanted to emphasize the values of kindness, neighborliness, and community as we reveled together in the joy of deliverance from evil. And then the world changed. Three days after Purim, the rabbis and board made the very painful but necessary decision to close down everything that happens in our building. As Rabbi Abe said at one of our High Holidays town halls, we suddenly needed to learn how to be BZBI in a very new way. We needed to learn how to keep our community warm and interactive and together when all we could see was a small picture on a computer screen. We needed to learn how to structure our days and keep anxiety at bay when most of the normal interactions we take for granted had been stripped away. And we did. We have helped overcome that feeling of isolation that even those of us who live with others have felt throughout this very difficult time. We've expanded our sense of community by creating a volunteer phone tree to reach out to some of our senior members and those living alone, which has begun quite a few friendships that will be deepened when we can meet in person. Our clergy have hosted conference calls for those who don't participate in Zoom events so that they can talk with others in our community. We have helped each other learn to connect in new ways. David Haas has hosted weekly online office hours to help folks with Zoom, and Beth Garskowitz volunteered to coach people one-on-one -on -one so that we can all be together today. Our new executive director, Rebecca Slavin Phillips, held coffee hours and introduced herself to as many of us as she could reach. So many in our community have lost loved ones during this isolating time, and we have found new ways to connect with the grieving. We had a shiva in the park. We gathered from around the world for Rabbi Muslia Shloshim marking the 30 days following his death. We confronted frightening experiences together. When Philadelphia was engulfed in unrest following the shooting of George Lloyd, we pulled together to make sure that our building was undamaged. 
Our executive director was on the phone with our security team day and night, sometimes into the next morning. And after the first night, when somebody just needed to come take a look, Carol Levinson, one of our vice presidents, got on her bike to ride over and inspect. We were moved as a community to explore new avenues for social justice, to explore how we as Jews can confront racism, and to develop an anti-racism reading group to further that. We found new ways to observe our traditions, giving order to our days and to the passing of sacred time. We have prayed together at Daily Minion, increasing attendance significantly since people don't actually need to leave the house, and hung around together to schmooze after on Sunday mornings, thanks to Susie Lander, or to study Torah with Rabbi Mort Levine on Mondays, or Mishmar with Rabbi Abe on Thursdays. Indeed, one member of our shul told me, I've never been to Minion this often, and it's great. I've made new friends, and I find more structure when I start the day with BZBI. Once the Committee on Law and Jewish Standards clarified the halakha for technology on Shabbat and Yom Tov, our rabbis transformed Shabbat morning services and created a really interactive prayer experience followed by breakout room kiddush. That kiddush time has become truly one of the highlights of my week. As phenomenal as this transformation has been, there are also things we haven't done. We haven't met Rabbi Abe and Rebecca Krasner's baby Miriam in person. We haven't held each other and cried together when loved ones have died. We haven't been able to have the thousand small daily interactions that make BZBI our communal home. Our holiday task force asked us to consider what we have lost and what we have found in this pandemic period. Many of you have shared your thoughts in writing and we'll hear from you some of you about your experiences over the course of the Yamim no Re'im, the 10 days of repentance. I'm gonna take a moment now to tell you about my lost and found. During the first couple of months of the pandemic when we had no Shabbat services, I found it almost impossible to pray. I, I could, of course, pick up a sitter and say the words, but I couldn't really pray even in private at the end of the day before going to sleep when it has usually been my custom to, as I think of it, say a few words to God. And then Zoom Shabbat happened, and we prayed and sang together, or mostly together, we were all alone. And miraculously, having been given back the gift of communal prayer, I was able to pray privately again. I still don't understand why I needed to be with all of you as a community to regain my ability to pray by myself at night, but there it is. I guess for me, religious life is inherently communal. Remarkably, this past fiscal year was a successful one for BZBI. We balanced the budget, thanks to a federal PPP grant without which we would have been in trouble. The incredibly dedicated work of our interim executive director, Harvey Frederick, and our new executive director, Rebecca Slavin Phillips, and the guiding hand of the chair of our finance committee, Brian Boucher, who works tirelessly for this community. Under the leadership of my predecessor, Gary Bramnick, we had an annual giving yield that surpassed our goal as more of you participated in giving than ever before. That was amazing and inspiring. And now we face a new and very uncertain future. We as a board are dedicated to updating you about our financial reality. At our annual meeting in June, we presented a balanced budget that made certain assumptions. We have seen your continued commitment to BZBI through membership and enrollment in the Nesner Hebrew School, and thank you. On the other hand, our early childhood programming program is functioning at under one half capacity. And that's a concern both financially and because with fewer participating in the preschool play school, we are engaging fewer young families in our BCBI community. This may leave a substantial gap in our budget and even more of a gap in our ability to grow and nurture the next generation of BCBIers. Some in our community have lost jobs or otherwise seen their income plummet in the fallout of the pandemic. So I ask this of you, if you're able to, after the holiday, go to Shulcloud or call the office and give to our annual giving fund. If you usually give at the end of the calendar year or in the spring, go to Shulcloud or call the office and make a pledge so that we can estimate our ability to meet the congregation's needs for the rest of the year. If you are able to make a continuing gift, no matter what size, $5, $10 a month, something more if you can, go to Shulcloud or call the office and give. We need your help to keep BZBI the enriching, sustaining, extraordinary community that it is. On behalf of Lisa and our daughters, Diane and Eva, Thank you all for being our neighbors. I thank you for helping me regain my ability to pray and wish you all a Shana Toba Umituka, a good and a sweet year.
you, Circle Fair. Thank you, Suzanne, for those moving words and reflections on this year. We've had to reimagine so many rituals and um, in an effort to keep everyone at a safe distance here in the sanctuary, we're not doing Hagba and Glila as we are accustomed to doing. So we're going to transition now back to our Torah reading to the Maftir Aliyah. It can be found on page 106. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, I can't see her. It's going to go away. Okay. Baruch Hu at Aram Barach. Baruch Hu at Aram Barach. Baruch Hu at Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Baruch Harbanu Mikola Amim Ben Atan Lanu Et Dorato Baruch Ata Adonai no tena Torah. Amen. Amen. Uva Kodesh Hashvi be a Hadla Kodesh. Mikra Kodesh Yelachem. Koma Lecher Avodaha Lota Asuhu. Yom Turu Aha Yelachem. Vaasi Temola. The Reachni Hoach Ladonai. Pahar ben Bakar Echad. Ayelechad, Kivasim bene shana, Shiv aha to me him. Umin rataham so let Bilu lava shaman, Shilosha es roni him la pahar, Shene es roni him la ail. The Isaron echad la keves ha echad, Lishiv ahad ha kivasim. Usi irizim echad chatahat lecha peher alechem milvahad ola hachod eshu min chatahah ve ola hatatamid umin chatah umin umin chatahah ve niskehem kemish pataham le reach nichoach isheh ladonai. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Ashen Atan Lanu Torah Emed Bechaye Olam Batavatochenu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen. In our Haftarah this morning from the book of Shmuel, Chana longs desperately for a child but is unable to conceive. She prays for a child, and when she's gifted with a son, Shmuel, she dedicates him to a life of service to God. The Haftarah includes Chana's words of praise and thanksgiving. She rejoices. There is no holy one like Adonai. Truly, there is none beside you. Ein sur kelohenu. There is no rock like our God. The rabbis in the Talmud love to play with language. They pick up on this word sur, rock, and its similarity to the word sayar, which means artist. They understand Hannah's words to be praising God's artistry in creating humanity. The sages teach, ein sur ela sayar. The word is not rock, but rather artist. Ein sayar kelohenu. There is no artist like our God. On this day of Rosh Hashanah, we stand in awe of creation. We admire the divine artistry in the wonders of the ocean, in the diversity of voices, of spirits coming together to pray today. Reading the poetry of the Mahzor, singing the melodies of this season, and celebrating our ability to reimagine this year's high holiday observance for the world as it is in this moment. We are grateful for the gift of creativity. In Sayar Kelohenu, there is truly no artist like you. <laughs> we pray for a year of heightened creativity 
and of expression of the life force within each one of us. Elkin Siegel will chant our Haftarah this morning. It can be found on page 108. <laughs> Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Bin Vihim Tovim Viratzah B'Divrehem Hanemorim Be'emet Baruch Ata Adonai Habocher B'Torah Uvmoshe Abdoh Uv Yisroel Amoh Uvvieho Emet Hatzedek Vayehi Yishachad Min Harmatayim Sofi Meharfrayim Ushmoh Elkanah Ben Yocham Ben Yehu Ben Tochu Ben Suf Efrati Lo shetei noshim shem achad chana v'shem hasheni tenina vayehi lifinor yiladim v'chana en yiladim v'yalah ha'ish ha'hu meiro miyamim yamim a lishtach abod for this bawa ladar lights of out v'shilah. Besham shne belihi, kafni umfin chas, kohani madonai. Vayehi hayom, vayiz bach el kana, benatan liti noishto, ulachaba necha, ubno techa manot, uchana yitain, mana achat apahayim. Ki yedchana ahehev v'adonai segorach mahab Miki esata saratagam kahas Mahavur hori maha Ki segor adonai biadrach maham Echen yaaseh Shana v'shana Mide alatah v'ved adonai Kehen tachi sehena vati vekebelota chaham vayomer lach el kanaisha kana la metiv ki la melota chli la me yerach lebabeh halo anochi tov lach me asarabani. I talk am chana achare achlava shilo the achare shatov veli akohein yoshe bala kise amazuzat hechal adonai vehi marat nafesh vati palel adonai bechoti bekeh. But you don't need her, but you are. I don't need to be hurt. I'm out here. But I'm not there. Who's got to need? Blow teach car. And I'm not there. Not that all the amateur. Zero anoshim. Unitati. But I know I call you me. Chaya. Umara. Lo ya ala arosho. Vahi <laughs> Vayomer elecho elihi ad motai kishakorin parsidi et jenech me Allah yir. Vata'an chanaha batomer lo adonihi kishar ruach anohi v'yain v'shechor lo shatihiti v'shpoch et nafshi lifnei adonai. 
al tite am et amar ha 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 lipne batlia ha 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 al kimer of sihi the kasi divarti ad hena bayan eli bayan melchishallah belah israel ye taint et shelate asher shout me imaho Bahatomer, Tim Slas, <laughs> Yifar, ha 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 ha, Pain, the Eneha, Batai, Batela, Ha Isha, the Darka, Bato, ha 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 ha, Ufa Neha, Lo, Ha Yula, oh, by Ashim Labo, care, by Yishtahabu, leave Neh, I don't know, by a shoe, by a bow, a baitam. Haramahata, Bayeda el Hana, El Hana, Ishtaho, Bayes Kareha Adonai, Baye the Kufa, Hai on me, Batahar Hana, Batelet Bain, Batikra et Shemoshimuel, He may Adonai, she'll tea. Vaya ishal kana bechobeta mizbo achladonai et zeba chayamim biet nidro vechana lo alata ki amrav isha ad yigam mehana aravi oti minira et benei adonai vaya shab sham ad olam. Hayom elaha el kana isha asi atobi na yik shvi agam lech otoh ah ha 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 ya kem adonoi et zebarah ba teja ba isha ba teinek et benah ad gaham lech otoh ba ta alehu ima ka asher gamalatu. Be farim shlosha be efa ahad kemet be nehe be yahayin ba vehu beit adonai shiloh ba naar naar ba yishchatu et hapar ba evi et hanaar el eli ba tomer be adoni kei nafshecha adoni. Ani Risha ha 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 need seven im ha pa se ha lead pala el adonai el hanar ha ze heat pala ti ba ye taint adonai li et she e la ti a share sha ha ti me imo the gama no he 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 shall ti hu adonai ko ha yo me ma share Haya ha ha, who shall la do no ha ha ha, we talk of who shall la do no ha ha. Bati pale hana bato maha, a lovely bee bado no ha ha, Rama carni bado no ha ha ha, Raha pia ahoy vaha, Kisa mahti vishua teha, in Kadosh kadono kindo teha. Be ain't so kelo hey nu. After boot is a brew, give oh ha ha, give oh ha ha ha. Yet say, O talk me pehem. Ki el de oat, I don't know. Baloney canoe, ali load. Kesheki bordim hatim. Venir shalim azu ha ha yil. Sibayim balechem, nis kaharu, or a beam. Kadehelu ara kara yada shiba rabat banim umla hala adono and maybe dum chaye morish all baya al adono morish uma ashir mash fil ahmedo mehim make him your father ha mash put your rim of your Lo sheep in the deep beam, the kiss a boat, young he lame, 
Ki Ladonoi Mitsuke Eheret, by Oshet Alehem Tebehel. Ragle Hasidab Yishmor, or Shai Bachoshaki Damu, Kilo Bekoa Higbari. Adonoi Yehatum Rivahav. Allah basho ma'im yareim Adonai yadin apse aharet Vayiten aho zemakoho Vayarein keren mishicho Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Tzur kol amin Sadiq b'chadarot Rachem al Tzion ki he bet chayenu la nubet la nubet nefesh to shefim he rabbi amenu baruch atad and I besamek Tzion bevanecha samachenu adon Eloheinu pedachod mi abdecha umachut bet David mishichecha bim he raya lo biyageli benu al kislo yeshev zor. Learn Halu or Achim at Kabota, give a shame Kajakon is Batalo, Shlok Benero, the Alamba Ed, Baruch Atadonai, Magain Davi Ahatora, the Habada, Hanabi, the Yom Hashabahaze, the Yom Hasi Karun Haze, Shanatata, Lonu Adonai, Eloheinu. Big do shoveling new ha ha le ha bo ulti far red. Aha ko adon elohenu anach nu modim la umrahim ota ha yit barashim aha le fika chay tamid le alam ba el ud bechar emet le kayam la ad baruch atadonai melu ha kolaret le kadesh hashabat b'israel. Be your mazikaron. Amen. Yeshua Koach to Elkin for chanting Haftarah. Yeshua Koach to Lisa Myers for reading Torah for us this morning. On this day of renewal, as our Torah is open, we pray for healing with all of our hearts. And during this time of pandemic, each day at our daily minion, twice a day, we've been praying for healing together. We pray for healing during this time of fires and floods, this time of struggles for justice and thirst for life. We pray for complete healing of bodies and spirit, heart and mind, for ourselves, our dear ones, our BZBI community, our city of Philadelphia, our country, Israel, and our whole world. We pray for courage for all who are caregivers, all who are essential workers, sustaining and saving lives. We pray that we may each know our power to be a healing presence for others. Yosef and I will lead our community in singing Debbie Friedman's Misha Berach for healing. It can be found on page 115 and we invite you to call to mind people, places for whom you would like to lift up prayers for healing today in this new year. And as we sing together, speak their names in your hearts or out loud where you are. Source of 
of strength who blessed the ones before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Me Bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say More life, more life, more life. More life, more life. Lechaim, lechaim, lechaim. More life. More life, more life. Lechaim. More life, more life, more life. More life, more life. Lechaim. Lechaim, lechaim, more life. Our ancient rabbis gifted us with the custom of benching gomel, of offering a blessing of gratitude upon survival and recovery after potentially dangerous or even potentially fatal experiences. According to the Talmud in Masechet Brachot, this blessing is offered upon completing a long and perilous journey, after giving birth, recovering from illness, being freed from prison, or crossing a sea. This year, we are so very aware of our vulnerability. We arrive to this new year with gratitude for our lives, yearning to be inscribed for another year of life. And we would like to take an opportunity as a community to bench Gomel, to express our gratitude to God for the gift of our lives, for the love and the goodness with which we have been blessed. Yosef and I have written a new setting for Birkata Gomel with this English refrain, more life, lechaim, more life. And more life was the mantra of a friend of mine, Jonathan Elliott, who we lost this year to COVID. So I want to invite everyone to turn in your machzor to page 107. You'll find the words there of Birkata Gomel. And if you have had any of the following experiences over the past year, which I'll share, we invite you to rise as you are able at home here in the sanctuary. If you have given birth this year, if you have recovered from serious illness or injury, if you have had a major surgery, if you have entered into recovery for addiction, if you have survived an accident, if you have come out of a narrow place, if you have been released from prison, if you have returned safely from a journey, if you have left an abusive relationship, if you have struggled with depression, if you have asked the painful question, am I worthy of life? Does my life matter? And you have chosen life still. If you are or have served as an essential worker, 
If you have put yourself at risk to care for others during this pandemic, if you live in a body that you know is not always valued by the society around us and still you have moved through knowing that you are worthy of life and worthy of dignity and worthy of love, if you have had a close call this year, if you have emerged from quarantine during this pandemic, if you have made it to this moment, if you are here with us today, please rise as you are able for this blessing. More life, more life, let Chaim. More life, more life, more life. More life, more life, le Chaim, le Chaim, le Chaim, more life. More life, more life, le Chaim. More life, more life, more life. More life, more life, le Chaim, le Chaim, le Chaim, more life. You've given me this goodness, restored my life anew. With every breath, I thank you, my life is a song for you. Ashir Adonai, Ashir Bechayai, Ashir Adonai, Ashir Kigamalai. More life, more life, Lechaim. More life, more life, more life. More life, more life, Lechaim, 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 more life. If you're reciting the bracha, please join me. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Adon Melech HaYavim, and we say together, Amen. Feel free to be seated. In a few moments, when we turn to the prayer for our country, we do so as a nation in mourning for one of the greatest Americans, one of the greatest leaders our history has known. There can be no more fitting epitaph for Ruth Bader Ginsburg than that at the end of her life, she was known by the title Justice. It is the inscription that hung on the wall of her chambers, Tzedek Tzedek Tirdof, uh, from the Torah, Justice, Justice shall you pursue. Um, and if there was a human being fit to bear that title, to embody justice. Um, it was Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And it was a particular kind of justice. I think many of us feel a kind of ethnic pride whenever there's a Jewish person who attains great status in society. But only too rarely is there someone of us who attains such great status by living out 
the teachings of our tradition. Because it was a very particular kind of justice that defined Justice Ginsburg's life and career. It was the pursuit of protections for the weak and powerless, for equity and recognition for the marginalized. It was a vision of America that lived up to the promises of our founding fathers. And so she became something of a, a, a mother to this nation, alongside those founding fathers asking all of us to live up to the words that they put on paper. And I'm reminded of a different verse in describing its system of civil and criminal law. The Torah says, Mishpat echad yelachem leger ulezrach haaretz, that there shall be one statute for the stranger and for the citizen of the land. And our sages interpret that verse to mean Mishpat echad yelachem Mishpat that a just legal system applies the law equitably to all across the board, without exception, without differentiation in status, without carving lines between one group and another. And it was this vision of justice that is equitable for all people a vision rooted in our Torah that Justice Ginsburg lived out in her quest to make space for women in the greatest law schools in our country, in her career as a litigator, in the landmark civil rights cases that she argued, in the decisions that she wrote in her role as a Supreme Court Justice, and perhaps most of all, in the example that she set for generations of Americans of all genders, of what it means to fight for others, what it means to stick up for those who can't defend themselves, what it means to seek justice, justice that is equitable to all, what it means to build a nation of which we can truly be proud. So I invite you to turn in your machzor to page 117 as Betsy Horan leads us in the prayer for our country. Um, Betsy, we need you to unmute and start over. We still don't hear you. Hold on. Is that better? Oh, there you are. Okay, great. Okay. Yes, we hear you now, Hi, Betsy. Everybody. Please go ahead. All right, I'm going to start again. Yes, page 117. But I go first. Every year we recite this prayer together. This year, I was given the special honor of saying this prayer in behalf of all of us. I have now said these special words out loud to myself four times. I do not think that it has ever had the same meaning as it does right now. This is our country. Our God and God of our ancestors with mercy accept our prayer on behalf of our country and its government. Pour out your blessings upon this land, upon its leader, its judges, officers, officials, and who are devoted in good faith to the needs of the public. 
instruct them with the laws of your Torah and help them understand your rules of justice so that peace and security, happiness and freedom will never depart from our land. We pray, Adonai, God, whose spirit is all creatures, awaken that spirit within all the inhabitants of our land, uproot from their hearts hatred and malice, jealousy and strife, plant among all of those different nationalities and faiths who dwell in our nation, love and companionship, peace and friendship. May it therefore be your will that our land be a blessing to all who dwell on earth and cause them to dwell in friendship and freedom. Speedily fulfill the vision of your prophets. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. For all of them, from the least of them to the greatest, shall show me. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Betsy. And as we uh, t continue at the bottom of the page in Hebrew with a prayer for the state of Israel, and we look to Rami Jirasi to lead us in that prayer, uh, we do so with a special prayer in our hearts uh, for the state of Israel, which as of yesterday has gone back into a period of coronavirus isolation, uh, a prayer that their efforts to stem the rise in cases will be successful and that there will be uh, no uh, excessive suffering in the land of our people. Uh, bottom of page 117, the prayer for the state of Israel. Amen. <laughs> holding all of these prayers in our hearts, sending them out. We're going to turn to page 123 to close our Torah service. It's <laughs> I invite you to imagine a different Rosh Hashanah morning, 
not so long ago or far away as it might seem, a sanctuary packed with worshipers, not our sanctuary, but one much larger, four, maybe 5,000 people, the back rows nearly a quarter mile from the Bima. Scant light shines through the narrow stained glass windows set deep into the side of the building so that one's eye is drawn inexorably toward the brighter lights in the front and the tall, thin rabbi standing on an even taller bima. A young boy, maybe eight years old, fidgets with the clip-on tie that sits on the too tight collar of an unfamiliar shirt, then slips out of his parents' seats in the sixth row of the balcony and starts down the aisle stairs. Two rows down, he turns briefly to look back sees his father in a dark suit, crisp white shirt, deep red tie, gazing down at his prayer book, still and impassive. His mother gives a slight nod, and the boy continues to the balcony railing and looks down, craning over the edge in an attempt to spot the seats far below, where his family sits on ordinary Shabbatot, Seats now occupied by the people whose names have become familiar over the years from the plaques on the back of the pew, but whose faces remain obscured by the distance. Just then, the Chazan's voice breaks through the quiet murmur of the crowd, his rich Eastern European accent reinforced by a large choir. His voice surges, alternately begging for mercy and seething with rage. Our boy is still too young to know much about the horrors that lay behind the mournful notes, what it must have taken for that mysterious, small, but powerful man on the bima to have survived what so many others did not. But he senses that there is something in this man that comes to life in this moment, at once glorious and terrible. The boy closes his eyes as the chazan sings, Perosh Hashanaikatevun Uvyom Tom Kipur Yechatemun. Then the rabbi's clear stentorian voice picks up the theme. On Rosh Hashanah, the decree is inscribed and on Yom Kippur it is sealed. How many shall pass away and how many shall be born? Who shall live and who shall die? Who shall perish by fire and who by water? Who by sword and who by beast? Who by hunger and who by thirst? Who by earthquake? And who by plague? As a child, I believed this literally. There we sat in our scratchy suits and uncomfortable leather shoes while God ran down a list making decisions about each of us, the actual individual people in that room, whether we would live to see another year. On the night between the two days of Rosh Hashanah, going to bed late after Kol Nidre, I could see it in my mind a gigantic disembodied hand writing tirelessly, endlessly, name after name in neat columns in an enormous gleaming white book, while just to the side, equally large but ever more terrible, sat a second book, frayed and worn, bound in a shade of black that seemed to absorb all the light and even the very air around it. Who shall live? and who shall die. And each year I shivered a little as I wondered where my name would end up. Somewhere along the way, I stopped believing literally in the words of Unatana Tokef, the generally accepted premise of this central high holiday prayer that the righteous get sealed in the book of life while the wicked are left out, that the three pathways of tshuva, tefillah, and staka, repentance, prayer, and righteousness will save us, becomes almost impossible to sustain once you get a good look at the world we actually live in. Plenty of good people suffer while others get away with all manner of abuse and wrongdoing, often even prospering by their crimes. 
Children die. Natural disasters wreak havoc. A pandemic sweeps the globe, the virus indifferent to one's moral character. When I consider what we can actually observe about the world, I can't bear to think about God picking and choosing, writing some of our names in one book and some names in the other. This year, more than any in recent memory, my mind has been drawn back to Unatana Tokef, who by fire in California and Oregon, who by water in Alabama and Florida, who by sword not only in far off wars, but also the blood of black Americans spilled by police and the 1,500 victims of gun violence in our city alone so far this year. And as if we could forget, who by plague? What are we to make of this prayer in a year when death circles ever closer, the virus taking some and sparing others and leaving yet more of us to wonder if, when, who will it visit next? As these questions fill my head, I see that while I let go of my literal childhood reading of the prayer, the awful vision of God surveying the congregation and selecting names for a book of death, I left the most important work unfinished. If I won't believe that God separates us all into two neat stacks, the worthy and the unworthy life and death, if I can't square that image with the reality I see in the world around us, what then do I mean when I sing along to this prayer? So much loss all around us. The toll of human lives is staggering in its immensity, so much so that I can hardly bear to see the numbers in the newspaper. And each of those lives lost was an entire world. Many who have been spared death itself face the burdens of financial strain and unemployment. And the rest of us, those who have thus far escaped direct harm from the pandemic fall within what grief expert David Kessler calls the worried well, physically and financially healthy, but still burdened by dimensions of loss that ripple like waves in a pond. To lose a loved one, then to be unable to attend the funeral out of state, prevented from sitting shiva with family, who could have imagined such a state of affairs? A summer full of weddings, rescheduled without any assurance that the new dates will hold. B'nai Mitzvah families struggling to choose how to mark such an important transition in their child's life when the traditional synagogue service is unavailable and the possibilities, Zoom, a tiny in-person service without beloved family members unable to travel, postponing for a year and still left to wonder what will be then, None of these options are actually good. And I have a three-month-old daughter named for my late father, whom my mother has never held, never seen with her own eyes. How many shall pass away and how many shall be born? Who shall live and who shall die? Who shall perish by fire and who by water? Who by earthquake and who by plague? The pandemic reveals something that was always true but is now more visible. All of these terrible things surround us, lurking around corners every day, waiting to pounce. A world like this offers us three paths through life. Fear might dominate our lives. At other times, we may suppress the fear in order to get through the day. Or we can stare into the fear see it in all its horror, and live anyway, despite the fear. But only one of these things can actually truly be considered living. Each of us will face moments where life's, the enormity of life's uncertainty overwhelms us. That's natural, inevitable. But to live in fear would mean surrendering today's gifts, joys, pleasures and wonders to a future that is merely one possibility out of many, whose demons may never arrive. 
To live in constant fear is no life at all. We could choose to push the fear away. In America, at least, I believe this is probably the most popular option. Yes, we can simply make the fear go away. We can numb it out of existence. Humans have shown remarkable ingenuity in finding ways to do this. The catch, however, is that when we push away fear, anxiety, and shame, with them go joy, wonder, gratitude, and compassion. We can turn the fear off, but please, I pray, don't. Unatana Tokev leads us down the one remaining path, the only viable option for life, to look directly at the fear, to see all that could befall us and insist on living every moment to the fullest, despite the fear. How else could we bring a child into this world knowing they will suffer decades of heartbreak, loss, grief, suffering, only to die themselves in the end? Why would we let ourselves fall in love with other human beings, with the pets that have gotten so many of us through COVID, knowing that our love will inevitably bring us the most painful grief of all? And yet, as a species, we insist on doing these very things, falling in love, raising families, teaching children, building businesses, tending to the sick of body, mind, spirit, soul, we know that it will all lead to death in the end, and yet we persist because life also brings love, joy, comfort, beauty, delight. And once I know the fear, accept the unalterable truth that my time will come, and I don't get to know how long I have, and when it comes, it will almost certainly feel too soon when we accept that truth, we become free to soak in every cloud and every star, every sunny day and every drop of nourishing rain, all the joy and love and wonder that life can bring. The fear never goes away. It's just that these other things we get to feel along with the fear sweeten the deal. As Una Tanatokev says, Ma'avirin et roa hagzeira, they cause the bitterness of our fate to pass. They are the spoonful of sugar that lets us swallow the bitter pill of mortality. In acknowledging death, in accepting that the end is the same for us and for everyone we love, we get to live in the meantime. What I find most frightening is not that I will die, I know I most certainly will, but that I can't know, will never truly know until the time comes, when. Who in their time and who before, Unatana Tokev asks. Viktor Frankl, reflecting on his experiences in Nazi concentration camps, observes that an open-ended fate can bring worse suffering than one with a bounded term, no matter how much harsher the latter might be. There are times when I think that if someone could tell me that this pandemic would go on for another 10 years but guarantee a date that it would be over, that I might prefer that horrible certainty over the more likely scenario that it lasts for another year or two, but all the while I won't know how much longer it will be. Then I remember that there can be no guarantees. Uncertainty is the definition of life itself. We never really know, do we? Not just when or how we will die. The parts of life that matter most are all shot through with profound uncertainty. When will I find love? Will my business succeed? Will I be blessed with children, grandchildren? How long will I have with them? What will their lives bring? We will die, every single one of us. And as much as it pains me to think about, the reality is that some of us won't be back next Rosh Hashanah. It breaks my heart to say that even as I know it must be true. None of us are guaranteed another day. And even if most of us have the privilege of living day to day without thinking too hard about that fact, on this day we can't avoid it. 
The angels in heaven are dismayed and are seized with fear and trembling. If the immortal beings tremble on this day, how much more so for us? A person's origin is dust and they return to the dust. Today, there can be no illusions. Life is finite. In the words of poet Mary Oliver, doesn't everything die at last and too soon? The end will come for all of us, and no matter when, it will almost certainly feel too soon. That much is beyond our ability to change. On Rosh Hashanah, the decree is inscribed, and on Yom Kippur, it is sealed. How many shall pass away, and how many shall be born? Who shall live, and who shall die? Here's the thing I only noticed this year. Unatana Tokef itself never claims that we deserve the degrees handed down, never suggests that we could in any way avoid our fate. The Midrashim on which this prayer is based state explicitly that the righteous go in the book of life and the wicked not so much. But the prayer itself never links life with righteousness. This can only be the author's deliberate omission. I have to imagine that he, too, looked around the world and saw that our destinies do not follow orderly paths and felt compelled to speak to that truth. Life is not just or fair. It hurts to say it out loud, but we shouldn't ignore what we observe every day. Uteshuva, utefila, utsedaka ma'avirin et roa ha Teshuva, tefillah, and tzedakah cause the bitterness of our decree to pass. Here, in Unatana Tokef's best-known line, lies perhaps the most consequential change that the author introduced. Midrashim tell us that these three things will cancel our decree. Well, again, we see that simply isn't true. And indeed, when it comes to death, the harshest of decrees, there can be no nullification. Postponement, perhaps, but the end will be the same. No, Unatana Tokef does not offer us any promise of escape. Instead, it tells us ma'avirin et roa hagazera. These three things will help the bitterness of our fate pass us by, help us get through the hardest times. Teshuva, self-reflection, growth, returning to our best selves, deciding in each moment who we want to become. Tefillah, opening our hearts in community, as Suzanne talked about earlier, being together to mark life's passages. Tzedakah, what we give to others, not just money, but time, attention, love, compassion. Most of life is slow, painstaking work. A few steps forward and a few back, a lot of side to side. I think the current pandemic can make it even harder to sense progress when it feels like so much of life is on pause. Unatana Tokef serves as a visceral reminder that time doesn't actually pause. Our days are meted out in unequal measures and it can end with alarming suddenness. Even now, recognizing that Unatana Tokef presents us with a much more nuanced and subtle picture of our fates than I thought as a child, I'm left with the same essential questions. Will it be me this year? Will it be someone I love? None of us get an answer to that question today. Instead, we must live with the only certainty that eventually the answer to both questions will be yes. The beauty and joy of our lives are built piece by piece by how we live in the meantime. Shana tova umetuka, may it be a year of life, of health, of blessing for all of us. I lie, 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 I lie, 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 I lie, 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 lie.
I la 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 I la 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 I la 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 I la la I la 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 I la la I la 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 la I la 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 la I la 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 I la la I la la I la 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 I la 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 I la la I la 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 I 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 la We turn now to our Musaf service, page 123. <laughs> Divirachi rute, viamali machute, bechayecho, uvyomecho, uvechayecho, Agala who is man kari vehimeru amen yehesh mehra ba mevorach le'alam ulo me'al maya Barach vishtabach, vit baar vit ramam vit nase, vit hadar vit ale vit alal, shemrei de kudisha berichu le la le la miko birchata veshirata. Tushbechata venechemata Tamiran veyalma veyimiru Amen The silent Amida can be found between pages 125 and 139.
כי אתה שומע תפילת עמך ישראל ברחמים, ברוך אתה שומע תפילה. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו אלוהי אברהם אלוהי יצחק ואלוהי יעקב ואלוהי שרה אלוהי רבקה, אלוהי רחל, אלוהי לאה, האל הגדול, הגיבור הנורא, אל עליון, גומר חסדים טובים, וקונה הכל, וזוכר חסדי אבות ומביא גואל לבני בניהם למען שמו באהבה. מסוד חכמים ונבונים ומלמד דעת מבינים, אבטחה פי בתפילה ובתחנונים, לכלות ולחנן פני מלך מלכי המלכים, ואדוני. האדונים זוכרנו לחיים מלך חפץ בחיים וחודבנו בספר החיים למענך אלוהים חיים. מלך עוזר ופוקד ומושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני. מגן אברהם ופוקד שרה. אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי מתים אתה רב להושיע. מחכה לחיים וחסד, מחיי מתים ברחמים רבים. סומך נוטלים מרופאי חולים ומתיר אסורים ומקיים אמונתו מי שאיני עפר מי כמוך בא מיח ישוע, מי כמוך, אהב הרחמים, 
לחיות מתים. ברוך אתה אדוני, מחיי המתים. אמן. ולכן לך תעלה קדושה, כי אתה אלוהינו מלך. ונתנה תוקף קדושת היום, כי הוא נורא ואיום, ובוא תנשא מלכותך. ויכון בחסד כיסאך, ותשב עליו באמת. אמת כי אתה הוא דיין ומוכיח, ויודע ועד. וחוטא וחוטא וסופר ומונה וצייסקור כל הנשכחות ותפתח את ספר, את ספר הזיכרונות ותפתח את ספר הזיכרונות. ומילא יקרא, ורותם יד כל, כל אדם בו. ושופר גדול ייתקע, ייתקע, וכל דממה דקה יישמע. אחים יחפזון וחילו רדה יחזון ומלאכים יחפזון וחילו רדה יחזון יאמרו הנה יום הדין לבכות על צבא מרון בדין. כי לא יזכו בעיניך ועדין, וכל בהי עולם יעברו לפניך, כי בני כן תעביר ותספור ותמנה ותפקוד נפש כה חי ותחתוך קצבה לכל בריאה ותכתוב את גזר דינם בראש השנה ייכתבו וביום צום כיפור יחת אמון, 
Bejoshana i katevun, uvijom com ki pojehate imun. Kama javrun, vekama i barejun, mi hvije u mi jamot. Mi vekitsa, mi lo vekitsa, perosha shana i katevun, um yom tsom ki poye katevun, perosha shana i katevun, um yom tsom ki poye katevun. Mi va eish, mi va maim, mi va cherev, mi va chayara, mi va ra'ar, mi va tzama. Berosh hashana yikateivun, uviyom tzom kippor yikateimun. Berosh Hashana Yikateivun Uviyom Tzom Kippor Yikateimun Mi Varash Umi Vamagifa Mi Vachanika Umi Vasekila Berosh Hashana Yikateivun Uviyom Tzom Kippor Yikateimun Berosh Hashana Yikateivun Uviyom Tzom Kippor Yikateivun Mi Yanuach Umi Yanuach Mi yashkit u mi taraf, mi shalev u mi itiaseg, mi yehani u mi yashir, mi yushpal u mi yarum. Tshuva u tfila, u tfila u tzdaka, ma aviri net roa hagzeya. Tshuva u tfila, u tfila u tzdaka, ma aviri Et roa hagezeira, ay la 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 la, ay la 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 la, ay la 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 la, utshuva utfila, ay la 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 la, ay la 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 la, ay la 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 la, utfila utzdaka. Ay la 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 כאשר לכעוס ונוח לרצות, כי לא סחפוץ במות המת, כי אם בשובו מדרכו וחיה, ויד יום מותו תחכה לו, אם ישוב מיד תקבלו. אמת, אמת, כי אתה הוא יוצאם, ואתה יודע יצאם, 
Kiem Basar Vadam Adam Yisodo Miafar Vesofo Leafar Vinafsho Yavi Lachmo Vinafsho Yavi Lachmo Mashu Kecheres Anishibar Kechatzir Yavesh Vichai Chatzitz Novel Kitzel Over Muchanan Kala Ucheruach No Shabbat Uchavak Poreach Vichachavom Yavuf Veatahu Melech Elechai Vekayam אין קצבה לשנותיך, ואין קץ לאורך עמך, ואין שיעור למרכבות כבודך, ואין פירוש לאלוהום שמך. שמך נוי עליך, ואתה נוי לשמך, ושמנו קראת בשמך. עשה למען שמך, וקדש את שמך מקדישי שמך, בעבור כבוד שמך הנערץ והנקדש, כסוד שיח שרפי קודש, המקדישים שמך רבה קודש, דרי מעלה עם דרי מטה. ככתוב היד נביאך, וקרא זר זה ואמר, קדוש, 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 אדוני צבאות, מלוך כל הארץ כבודו, כבודו. בשורתיו שואלים זה לזה, איי מקום כבודו, לעומתם ברוך יומיהו, ברוך כבוד אדוני ממקומו, ממקומו, הוא יפן ברחמים. ויכון עם המייחדים שמו ערב הבוקר בכל יום תמיד פעמיים באהבה שמא אומרים שמע ישראל אדוני אלוהינו אדוני אלכן הוא אלוהינו, הוא אבינו, הוא מלכנו, הוא מושיענו, והוא והוא ישמיענו, ישמיענו ברחמיו. ברחמיו שנית לעיני כוחי והוא ישמיענו ברחמיו ברחמיו שנית 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 לעיני כוחי להיות לכם אלוהים, אני אדוני אלוהיכם. אהדיר אדירנו, אדוני אדוננו, מאדיר שמך בכל הארץ. והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ, ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו אחד, 
Udivegochecha katu ble mor, Yim locha donai le olam, Eloha ichzion, Le dor va dor, Alleluia. Le dor va dor, Nagid god lecha. Unetach netachim gedushadecha nagdish v'shivchacha Eloheinu v'pinu lo yamush l'olam b'ovel ki el melech gadol v'kadosh ata chamol al maasecha v'ismach v'maasecha v'yomeru lecha chosecha v'tzadekcha amusecha to Kedash Adon, I'll call myself. We can be seated, page 146. Al Chaz Biad Midat Mishpat, Vechoma Minim Shehu Elemuna. Abochein uvodeg v'inzei mistaro Vecho maminim shehu bochein l'elayol Agoel maben ufode mishachat Vecho maminim shehu goel chazak Adan yechidi levay olam beko mamini shehudaya nemel eharagui beyashereye beko mamini shehuaya olyebiye avada shemo. Page 148. Who fit to Hayado? A tall Rasha, the hard face beats a go. Oh, the whole mammy, Shehutsa di Kriasha, a cat's are bizarre. The whole mammy, Shehuka Arachum b'maktim rachamim l'arogez v'chol mamimim shehu rach l'irtzot ashave umash v'katon v'gadol v'chol mamimim shehu shofei tzedek atam umitamim Mechom <laughs> I lay 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 
ואין וחתך אדוני אלוהינו הקומה שאיך ועימדך כל מה שבראת ויראוך כל המעשים וישתחוו לפניך כל הבירועים ויעשו כולם אגודה אחת לעשות רצונך בלבב שלם כמו שידענו אדוני אלוהינו שהשלטון לפניך עוז בידך וגבורה וימינך בשמך הנורא הקומה שבראת ובכן ובכן תן כבוד אדוני לימיך, תהילה לרעייך ותקווה לדורשך ופתחון פה למייחלים לך. שמחה לארצך וששון לעירך שמחה לארצך וששון לעירך ותמיכת קרן לדוד עבדך ועריכת נר לבן ישי משיחך במהרה בימינו ובכן צדיקים יראו וישמחו וישרים יעלוזו וחסידים ברינה יגילו ועולת התקפוץ פיה וכל הרישה כולם געשן תכלל כי תעביר ממשלת זדון מן הארץ Page 150. Page 151. And if you have a God, you will have a God, you will have a God, Hallelujah. Kadosh, you are the Lord of God. מיין אלוה מבלעדיך ככתוב, יקבע אדוני צבאות במשפט, והאל הקדוש נקדש בצדקה. ברוך אתה אדוני. המלך הקדוש. אתה בך אתנו מכל העמים, אהבת אותנו ורצית בנו, ורוממתנו איתנו מכל השונות וקידשתנו במצוותיך, וקרבתנו לתנו כן לעבודתך ושמך הגדול והקדוש עלינו קראת. ותיתן לנו נא אלוהינו באהבה את יום השבת הזה ואת יום הזיכרון הזה, יום זיכרון תרועה, באהבה מקרא קודש זה יחל יציאת מצרים. ומפני חטאינו גלינו מארצנו ונתרחקנו מעל אדמתנו, ואין אנחנו יכולים לעלצות חוטאינו בבית בחירתך. בית הגדול והקדוש נקרא שמך עליו מבני היד שנשלחה במקדשך. 
Shesham <laughs> We've come to the central prayers of the Musaf Amida, the prayers of Malchuyot, Zichronot, and Shofarot. In the first section, Malchuyot features the original setting for Aleinu. It was, before it was the familiar ending of all of our services, it was heard here on this day. And as is customary for the prayer leaders to bow, so in some places it has become custom for everyone to bow. And uh, since most of us have more floor space available to us than we have in many years, uh, I want to encourage people, if you're feeling up to it, to experiment when we get to Va'anachnu Kor'im, Kor'im, which means to kneel down on one's knees, 
to go down on our knees, umishtachavim, to lie flat down, face down on the floor, umodim, and to give thanks to the one who is the source of all blessing, um, and then to rise again as the prayer continues. We have invited three members of our community to uh, offer reflections on each of these sections. And so uh, before we begin Malchuyot, we look to Susan Zeelander for her reflections on this beginning part of the Amidah. In the title of this, as Rabbi uh, has suggested, is I felt wonder when. In 2014, after 51 years of marriage, my husband died while we were snorkeling in the Caribbean. He was brought to the hospital that was on the closest big island. There, without thinking, I asked for a phone book. I found myself looking for a rabbi or a synagogue on the island. No luck. And I should mention here that neither my husband nor me, nor our three children, were raised in an observant home. Meanwhile, my initial instinct was to not leave my husband's side, and I didn't. That night, I asked if I could stay nearby. It's a Jewish tradition, I explained. Somehow, the people there accepted that and set up a recliner chair pillow and a blanket in the hallway, as close to his side as I could be. I don't know why, but for this trip, I had back packed a book of Psalms and I started to read. A nurse came over, asked why I was there in the hallway. When I explained, she said, oh, I know these Psalms in English, may I join you? The next day, my children were there I prevailed upon them to read Psalms in the same hallway. And two days later, a Chabad rabbi from a distant island came to support us. When I experienced the caring of the people on that island, the wisdom of the Chabad rabbi, and the humanity of our traditions, I felt wonder. We turn to page 154. We rise as the ark is open for Aleinu. Aleinu. Shapeach Nadon La Adon Hako La Tate Kidula Lyotzer Breishit Shelo Hasanu Kigoye Arazo Samanu Kemish Vakot Adama Shelo Sam Elkeinu Kahem Vigor Aleinu Kiholamonam Vanachnu Kori Good 
page 155, middle of page 156. Katu to our tech Adonaim Lochler Lampahel. Bene Marloi, Bidav and Biakov, Laura Amal, be Israel. Adonai Loheimo, Utruat Melech Bovene Mar, Vahibishun Melech, Vida Sefra Sheam Yachachiv Te Israel. Middle of page 157. Eloheinu velo yabotenu. Melocha kol haolam kulo bichvodecha. Vinasel kol haaretz vikarecha. Vofa badargo onuzecha. Al kol yoshvei tevel ertzecha. Viedia kol po kia ta fialto. Viavin kol yetzur kia ta yitzarto. Yomar kol ashe nishama ve'apo Adonai lo Yisrael melech umachuto. Vachol mashala. Eloheinu velwe haboteinu, Ritzei vimnuchateinu, Gajenu mizotech avdeinu, Elkeinu etoratecha, Zabeinu bitubecha, Vesamcheinu ishoatecha, Vanchileinu vadun Eloheinu vabra vetzon shabbat kotshecha, Vyanuchu vayisrael mikadashei shemecha, Vitaher libeinu lavdecha v'yemen, Ki ata Elohim emet, Udvarcha emet vekayam lad Baruch ata Adonai Melech al koh haaretz Mekadesh ha-shabbat Melech al koh haaretz Mikadesh Yisrael, Melech al kol haaretz, Mikadesh ha-Shabbat v'Yisrael, v'yom ha-Zikaron. Amen. For our second reflection, we call upon Bruce Robbins. First, I'd like to thank uh, Rabbi Gabe and Rabbi Annie for this opportunity to introduce the Buprenote uh, liturgy. Buprenote means memory, and it is centered on remembering. As Rabbi Schulzis, a f former JTS chancellor, wrote, memory is the lifeblood of Jewish being. We know God remembered the covenant, but what do we remember? I remember coming to BZBI BZ, BZ with my mother and my grandmother on Shabbos and with my entire family on the high holidays and sitting exactly seven rows from the front because that's where my grandmother probably wanted to sit because she could be eye level with the rabbi. I remember coming to help make Minion when, when Lynn needed to say cottage for her father. I remember being married by Rabbi David Silverman. I remember Charles Ludwig and Bob Horn of blessed memory and their active commitment to the shul. I remember when Rabbi Stone became our rabbi and when he retired and then retired again. I remember my, both my daughters baby naming and their bat mitzvah. And I remember all the friends that I've met at BZB, BZBI. And I remember my good friend, Bob Fleischman, who, who will say, I can pray to God anywhere. It's only at shul do I get to talk to my friends. So I wish for 5781 that we have the opportunity to come back to the shul and be able to talk to our friends and remember. And I wish everyone Lashana Tova, Tikva Tevu, Vatikva Tem, may you be written and sealed for a good year. We turn to page 161, the middle of the page selections from Zichonot. Al Yedei Avadechan Vivingato Vlemo. 
הלוך וקראת באוזני ירושלים לאמור כה אמר אדוני זכרתי לך חסד Page 162, third paragraph. <laughs> For our third reflection, we turn to Anne Albert. Okay. Um, I was asked to reflect on the prompt, I heard a sound I will never forget when. So um, I heard a sound I will never forget when I was giving birth to this guy, <laughs> to my second child. Uh, and the sound was a giggle. The sound came from his big sister, who was then three, uh, who was in my husband's arms just a few feet away. And this was, it's impossible to imagine, but almost 10 years ago. And now he's large. Um, for this birth, we were at home and we were in a dimly lit, comfy room. And I was concentrating. I was, had my eyes closed. I was tuning out everything unnecessary. I was so in the zone that my daughter's small voice came to me as if across a distance. Um, but it was only because of that quiet that I could even hear it at all. So right as the baby crowned, I heard this giggle, sort of a gurgle giggle, a kind of throaty questioning, exclaiming kind of sound. It was the sound of being startled and delighted and a little bit of, are you sure this is okay? Um, the sound that you might make involuntarily to yourself if you looked into your backpack and found a sleeping dragon or opened your wardrobe and found a snowy wonderland. It was the stuff of children's books. Um, this was fantasy, not real life. It was what? And oh, and yikes, all at once. It was spontaneous and it was unrepeatable and it was unforgettable. And it wasn't that this big sister was unprepared for what she was about to see. We had talked all about it. We had looked at photos and watched videos, very realistic videos of babies being born. Yes, we were those people. Um, it was pretty well normalized for her, um, maybe even boring by that point. And yet in that instant, when a person, a person <laughs> started to emerge, it was still astonishing. And the laugh that she let out expressed that magic perfectly. It was that delight and some well-placed trepidation and a palpable sense of the complete weirdness of the entire affair. It was utterly unlike a public blowing of the shofar with all of its symbolism of the coronation of God as a king. Tkiagadola is regal and commanding and it cuts across a crowd 
and demands that we stand in community and in reverence, and it orders us in a hierarchy, calling our attention to a majesty that's beyond our own power. Tzkiah Gedolah and the blowing of the shofar is rehearsed and regular and repetitious and large. It is manifestly not like what happens in a cozy bedroom in the messy and individual and not at all upright <laughs> moment of birth. And yet we have in the liturgy the words, the great shofar is sounded and a still small voice is heard. They are somehow the same. Mm -hmm. So the crowning of a king is marked with the sound of a shofar blast and the crowning of a baby was in this case marked with a giggle. They're both sounds that we must quiet ourselves to hear. Middle of page 165. <laughs> Hallelujah, take a shofar, hallelujah, beneva vechinor, hallelujah, tofu machon, hallelujah, beminin veugar, hallelujah, betiltele shama, hallelujah, betiltele chua, kolan shama te hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Kohan Shama, Te Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Kohan Shama, Te Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Bottom of page 166. Hello, hey, no, hello, hey, Shofar <laughs> Yom Simchat Hamolechem Roshe Hajechem, the Katem Mukhatot, Techem Azimche, Salmichem, the Ayulachem Zikar on the Fne Elohechem, Ani Adonai Elohechem, Kiata Shomeat Kol Shofar, Umazin to Avien Domelach Baruch. Ata Adonai Shomea kol truat Amo Yisrael Merachamim Amen Ayom harat olam Ayom yamid vamishpat Imkvanim, imkvanim, rachamenu, 
im Shalom <laughs> Of page 170. We rise as the ark is open. So eager to 
bring in the day. Amen. Amen. Ayom, 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 Ayom 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 Kakatu vayad neviyecha vabiyoti melakotchi v'sihi machti v'beit v'ilati olotei amizivchayem l'atzon amizvechi ki beiti beit v'ila ikarei lechol ha'amim utzdaka v'racha v'racha mi mechayim v'shalom yelanu lechol Yisrael ad haolam Baruch Ata Adonai Oseh HaShalom Amen Page 171 Amen Alemadi Virahirute Viam Lihich Malchute Vehaiho Nubio Mekon Uchaye de Hobet Israel Bagala Uvisman Karif Vehimeru Vehimeru Amen Amen Heshme Rabba Meva Barach, we eat Barach, we eat Barach, we eat Rama, we eat Nase, we eat Adar, we eat Ale, we eat Halal, Shemay, the Kudish, do the Shabrihu, Ela, Ela, Miko Birchata, the Shirata, Tushbechata. Venechemata damiran vialma vimeru amen. Tid kabal tila hodi honu ba hodi hon di ho Yisrael kodam abun di bishmaya di bishmaya di bishmaya. Ihimeru amen. Amen. Yehishamaraba mitshemaya vechayim vechayim aleinu aleinu yako Yisrael v'yako Yisrael. Ihimeru. Ihimeru amen. Amen. Ose shalom bimeram avu ya ase shalom aleinu. Israel, the Emeru, the Emeru, Amen. 
Shokoach. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, thank Rabbi Yosef and Rabbi Annie for leading such a beautiful Musaf and to thank again Josh Rosenberg for leading Shachari, Lisa Myers for reading Torah, Elkin Siegel for reading the Haftarah, Ginny Green who uh, called up our Olim, and all of the people who participated from home. And uh, especially thanks to David Haas and to Beth Garskowitz for handling the technical end of this morning's services. Uh, we are now thrilled to uh, go to the president of our congregation, Nikki Morris, to share this morning's announcements. Thank you, Rabbi Friedman. Good morning, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. It is my special pleasure to welcome everyone to our Zoom services for Rosh Hashanah 5781. May we all be blessed with health, peace, and contentment in this new year and may this new year see an end to the pandemic which is all has affected us all in many different ways it is for this reason that we gather albeit electronically to share our concerns our fears and hopes for the future i have some announcements for you and i also have some words of appreciation but first an apology to bob and debbie fleischman and to rebecca for the tears of joy and sadness that i've spilled throughout the morning on my borrowed masor i'm so sorry <laughs> um I would like to thank all the congregants who um, provided the magnificent flowers and the bima that are special for Rosh Hashanah, Nancy Rothbard and Brian Boucher, Bonnie and Jay Eisner, Gary and Marianne Ruby Emmett, Rosa and Albert Eskenazi, Arlene Fickler, Janet Margulies and Art Fishman, Judy and Tom Kleiman, Rosalie Kurtz, Claire and Sandy Moses, Jenny and Michael Pritzker, the Rich Epstein family, Lori Wagman, and Joseph Zaritsky. Thank you so much, and thank you for beautifying our sanctuary. Our annual food drive supporting the Jewish Federation's Mitzvah Food Pantry is happening now. Non-perishable kosher proteins, such as nut butters, canned fish, and canned beans are in particular need. Please bring these non-perishable and kosher foods to our temple office during public hours, which are on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 12.30 to 4.30. If you use a grocery delivery service, uh, BZBI can accept these deliveries on weekdays between 10 and 4 p.m. If you're dropping them off in person, make sure you go on Tuesdays and Thursdays between 12.30 and 4.30. But if you're having them delivered, they can do that each day between 10 and 4 during the week. Do not miss the blowing of the shofar tomorrow, the second day of Rosh Hashanah. You can hear the shofar at many Center City locations and check the high holiday schedule to see the different times and the, the locations throughout the city. The Fittler Square location will include a special program for families with young children. It's gonna be a small gathering. It's conducted under strict COVID-19 safety precautions. So make sure you wear your mask and maintain social distancing. At two o'clock today, use the same link that you used this morning to join Doug Bard for Chai Chi, a spiritual exercise class for Rosh Hashanah. A beautiful comprehensive guide to services for the high holy days is still available on BZBI's website. After Yom Tov, click on worship and then download High Holidays 2020 5781. It's a PDF pamphlet that provides you with all the dates and times of the, the services. The temple office now has limited hours to assist members. If you need to conduct business, as I said, you can come in between um, the hours of 1230 and 430 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, please call one hour in advance of your visit. Also, the Book of Remembrance is now available and may be picked up in the chapel. This special book is used during Yisker services four times a year and will be used next week at our Yom Kippur services. Once again, we ask that you call first before coming to pick it up so that we can follow the protocols for COVID-19. Following this morning's or this afternoon's services, I guess, you're invited to stay in the Zoom meeting where you can join us in the lobby and say hello to old and new friends, just as if you were in BCBI's actual lobby. We'll keep the lobby open as long as you like and break into smaller groups as needed. The lobby will close at 145 uh, before Doug Barg's Chai Chi Spiritual Exercise class at two. So I'm gonna talk quickly so everybody can get to the, the lobby to, to hang out with each other. Um, I wanted to say a few words, uh, personal words. I'll address you a little bit more at, um, on Cole Nidre. But uh, this, as for most of you, this Rosh Hashanah has been bittersweet for the Morris family. It's the, the first Rosh Hashanah that we are not with our parents and extended family. 
for the uh, for my husband it's been 25 years since he hasn't been with his parents and for me it's about 20 years they're all safe but they're all keeping their distance um but my girls are aren't able to to participate in the holidays with their grandparents aunts uncles and cousins and they're and they're definitely feeling it uh so for and for her these holidays are all about family but like all of you we've had to pivot um we pivoted by i made a special dinner we're starting new tra transition uh, traditions the kids get to stay up later we're practicing being flexible sometimes we pivot pretty quickly and other times like this morning um we're not so quick to do so but the four of us are together and we're happy and healthy happy to be here with you and so that part is very sweet i'm very glad to be here with you today it's a blessing that we can meet together and to be online Thank you so much to our High Holidays Task Force for the big pivot, for making services possible from our beautiful sanctuary. We get to see the new carpet, the beautiful flowers. So a huge thank you to our tireless chairwoman, Sheila Siegel, members Jenny Green, Elkin Siegel, Robin Lebo, Brian Wasserman, Beth Garskowitz, Ivy Weingram, Terry Soifer, and Oren Pollock. Thank you to all of our friends who participated and led services <clears throat> in person today. This is an amazing gift that you've given us, allowing us to enjoy services from our sacred place. It's a, both a reminder of life before the pandemic and also a sign of hope that we'll soon be together in our communal home. Thank you to our rabbis for being present for us during the year, adjusting to these changing times. And I'm so pleased to see and to hear Rabbi Yosef, and I'm pleased that you're with us, and continue to be with us in our community. And of course, a thank you to all of our staff and members of the board. You're all a talented, energetic um, team and make my job a lot easier. And finally, my thanks to all of you in our community who have demonstrated your commitment to this community by showing up today at Minion Shabbat services for programs, for volunteer projects, and just for showing up for each other. We wouldn't have this community without you. Please continue to enjoy your holiday weekend and feel gratitude for life and its blessings. Go for a walk, spend some time with your family, take comfort in each other and our ability to, as a community to adapt. I will see you tomorrow. And um, thank you, rabbis. And I'll, I'll head back to you. Shana Tova, thank you, Nikki. We're on page 173. We'll rise as we're able for Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ako L'tev k'dula l'yotze ebreshi Sh'lo asanu k'goye arato V'lo samanu k'mishpechot ha'adama Sh'lo sam chalkinu kahem V'gor aleinu k'chol ha'monam V'nachlu k'orim Lifnemelem <laughs> Turn to page 174 for Kadisha Tom, Mourners Kaddish. All those who are in mourning or who are marking a yard site, please remain standing. And all of us here gathered in community will answer Amen to you. Yit Kadal, Yit Kadash, Shemei Rabbah. Vialmat, Divrak, Yerute, Vialmlich, Malchute, Bechayechon, Uviomechon. Uvchaye de Holbeit Israel, Bagalau Bizman Kari Vimeru, Amen, Yehe Sheme, Rabba Mevorach, Leolam Ulalme El Maya, Yit Barach, Vish Tabach, Vit Paarvit Romam, Vit Nase, Vit Hadarvit, Alevit, Halal, Sheme de Kudesha, Brihu, Leela, Leela, Mikolbir Hata Vishirata, 
תושבחתה ונחמתה דאמירן בילמה וימרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל וימרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל וימרו אמן. We are going to conclude our service this morning with a video of Adon Olam that includes the voices of many of our community members. So thank you to all of you who participated in this wonderful Adon Olam virtual choir. And we want to wish everybody Thank you.